Hello everyone and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to make um, a headband with kitten ears for Halloween. This is actually going to be our last um, Halloween project for this month and then I'm going to start getting into holiday projects. I'm really sorry about last week. Um, I was really sick so I didn't get to do a tutorial last week but we're doing one today so today we're going to make kitten ears. What we're going to be working with today is I actually am using velvet so my kitten ears are going to be velvet. Um, this is actually from scrap fabric so I have two pieces here. I didn't measure it um, but I have two pieces here one, and we're also going to use silk ribbon or satin ribbon I'm sorry and filler. And this is the filler you use for like if you're making pillows or stuffed animals or something like that. I got mine from Walmart. You get it from any hobby store or whatever. You're going to need your glue gun. And I have an extra stick of glue. I always bring an extra stick of glue and scissors along with a ruler. So what I did was I just used the ruler and marked where I actually want to cut the ears. So what I'm going to do actually is just, you want to fold this in half so that you have two equal pieces for each ear. So you're going to wind up with four triangles so that you have a front and a back for each kitten ear. And this is going to be a no sew project. We're just going to use the glue. And I'm doing that this way because it's temporary and I'm not probably not going to keep the ears after <laughs> Halloween. I'm not going to be walking around with kitten ears. So you can actually leave it um, folded and then that way you can do it like this. But you're on, um, yeah. So let's just leave it folded. And we're not going to cut the bottom. We're just going to leave it like this. So what I'm going to do is take this one. So the other side is the same size. I'm going to put it on top of our fabric. And you can use any fabric. I'm just using the velvet just because it's extra. It's what I had. Um, and I thought it would be cute to have velvet kitten ears as opposed to just regular cotton fabric or something like that. So once we have done this, we're going to cut it out, just like we did with the other side. And then we're going to start putting it together. And I always keep a trash bag just to get rid of those pieces. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take our little ear here. We are going to put some hot glue down on one side. Just to kind of get this going here. And you want to put a generous amount of this hot glue because you really want these little ears to stay together when you or your child is wearing them. And because we're putting stuffing in, we really want it to stay closed. Now, the thing that I learned when you're working with like velvet or any kind of fabric like that, you want to be careful because whatever you get on it stays on it. So try not to get the hot glue on it. And obviously, you can turn this into a sewing project if you want to sew your ears closed. Like I said, this is just temporary for me, so there's no reason for me to... Um, so mine today okay so now we have a little pocket here so what we're going to start doing is putting a little stuffing in there I'm actually going to close this down a little bit on this side before I start putting my stuffing in because I want that tip closed okay there we go so let's just start putting our stuffing in and this is a really easy quick project it won't take you all day if you have more than one child or more than one grandchild that you want to do these for you can make a ton of these in no time flat now you want to be sure that you leave enough space to close 
the triangle down. So don't put so much stuff in there to where uh, you won't be able to close it down. And I'm using stuffing just because I figured that will give it the little stiffness it needs to stay um, standing up once we attach it to the satin ribbon. So I'm going to carefully start putting the hot glue on and I'm going to do this while I'm pushing the stuffing back. So it's going to take a little trickery but you could probably do it. Okay, so as you can see it's closing down. I'm just going to keep pushing the stuffing back while I close the triangle. And once you have it closed, you can adjust it and, and move the stuffing around so the triangle looks how you want it to look. Okay, so be careful not to get the glue on your finger because this stuff is really hot. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we have our first little ear done. And it's simple. So we're going to go ahead and do the next one. And if you see, once this completely dries, any pieces that you don't like that's hanging off, you can just cut it off. So this is actually pretty cool. So see, it's a little stiff and I'm going to adjust this a little bit because once I put it on the ribbon I'm going to stick it down like that. And just go ahead and look over it and make sure that you don't have any um, openings in the triangle and if you do just go ahead and put a little bit more hot glue. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other one with this one as well. And put just some glue down on one side first. Uh oh, oh, I messed up. Okay, so now we're going to work on our second ear and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take the glue and put it around on one side first. Get a good amount of it going. Okay, and let's close this side up. And get it as close to even on each side when you close it as you can. Okay. So let's let that dry for just a quick bit. I'm going to keep pushing mine until it gets dry. Okay. And then I'm going to go on the other side and just put a little bit of glue at the top. And I have a little piece here that this side is just a little uneven, so I'm going to fix this really quick. I'm going to put a little bit at the top. I'm going to let that dry. We're going to start doing the same thing we did with the other side with our stuffing and just sticking it in there. And as you can see, when I started putting the stuffing in on the other side, we had a part that came loose. It just didn't have enough glue. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue here. That's why I say use a generous amount of the hot glue so it stays closed. Okay. And we're just going to stick stuffing on in there. Get a nice amount of it in there. And then we're going to close it just like we did with the other side. 
pushing the glue back. I mean, <laughs> pushing the glue back, pushing the stuff in back, and then we're going to put the glue on. Okay, just keep going until you have it completely closed. And there we go you can always take the like I said take the once it dries completely take some scissors and just cut off the edges that you don't like or that there's glue hanging off of and just cut those pieces off so now I can put this stuff in so for the ribbon what I did was I just kind of wrapped this around my head a little bit and gave me some um, extra uh, inches so I can tie it instead of putting the velcro on like I normally do so I'm going to just tie it and that way I can get it really tight and the ears can be a little stiffer than um, they normally would so at this point we're going to take the ribbon and you want to heat seal them with um, a lighter some people use a candle I use a lighter just because it's more convenient for me and you want to do that just so your edges don't fray. So I'm going to make sure my two pieces are even. I'm going to make a little crease here so I know where the middle of the ribbon is. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put an ear on each side of where I just creased it. You can kind of play around with this with your head and see exactly like where you want the ears to be. You know, take the ribbon, put it on top of your head and then kind of measure that way. Put a little dot maybe. So just kind of put the center of the ribbon and just kind of see where you want it. So I have two areas. I'm going to make a little indentation so I know where to put my ears. So I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm just going to put it across the bottom of my, my triangle. And then I'm going to press it down on my ribbon. Make sure you have enough of it so it's sticking pretty good. Okay, so we have our first little ear sticking up there. And I'm going to take the other one and find out where I put my little indentation right there. And then I'm just going to put the other ear right there. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I just did with the other side. And take the hot glue and put it along the bottom of the triangle. I'm using a generous amount so it can stick really well onto my ribbon. And I'm just going to set it down just like I did the first time and just press it down really good. So now we have our kitten ears and it looks a little silly but you can adjust it how you want it to be adjusted and move it up a little bit or move it back. And you can actually use red and make devil ears. But this is an inexpensive way that you can make a part of your Halloween costume. And you could put the ears closer or you could put them further out. But I think these are really cute. And the fact that we used the stuffing to make them stiff actually helped us out a little bit. So like I said, if you're going to sew it, you could probably put more stuffing in. But because I glued mine. I just put enough stuffing in to where the kitten ears could stand up. So that's it for this tutorial Tuesday and I will see you next Tuesday.